Hello, my name is Ryszard Hojnowski and some time ago I was the project lead for the first Witcher. As the Witcher 3, the wild hunt is upon us and it's looking absolutely stunning, I'd like to take you on a journey back in time to the year 2002 and show you the very, very humble beginnings of the franchise. In this video I'd like to show you the first incarnation of the game, built with the Intersolaris engine that had been used previously to create the game Mortar. And this is what I will be showing. Uh, I think there are no more than 20 copies of this left in the world, which makes it quite a collector's item. This is the first official, so to say, alpha demo that in 2002 was taken to various publishers to check if there is a potential for such a game. Okay, so without a further ado, let's start. As you can probably see, the main protagonist is not Geralt. And just a side note, uh, the proper pronunciation of the, of the name in Polish is Geralt, not Geralt. It's Geralt. Uh, players were supposed to create their own witches, customize their appearance and choose attributes and traits. Geralt appeared in the story, but only as a non-player character, which is quite understandable considering how the novels ended. I will not spoil the ending for you though, uh, hopefully it will be translated to English sooner rather than later. There are four levels in this demo, uh, a battlefield that you see right now, and then when followed these stone stairs we would get to the dungeon, or rather a werewolf lair. <laughs> Uh, then there is uh, the road to the Castle of Burning Groves with uh, very nice vistas, as you can see. And the place where we have to be prepared for an ambush. And finally, uh, the castle itself. Now, this level is basically empty. It was added just to show uh, the graphics that are possible to achieve using the engine. Uh, the game utilizes a top-down view similar to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance uh, which was an inspiration for this version of The Witcher. Some graphical effects like these ripples on water are also very similar to the ones used in Dark Alliance. Okay let's uh, have a look at the combat which is very important in, in RPGs. As you can see the combat here was very slow sluggish and simplistic, mostly because there were just a few animations and basically no mechanics that would govern the system. You just clicked the buttons and hoped for the best. As far as which signs are concerned, only the visual effect for Igni was implemented. There were also no RPG elements, um, no character development, uh, no quest system, no inventory, only very basic conversation options uh, that you can see right now. As you can see from this option menu, even the settings were taken straight from an FPS game and that's what it is. Uh, this is an FPS in third-person perspective clothing. Uh, the level editor was very cumbersome and creating just geometry and texturing a level could take a few weeks. And we needed a lot of levels if we wanted to follow the story. I joined the team as a designer slash producer in January 2003 and my task was to evaluate the progress. I found out that there was no communication between the story writers and the team in Woods and everybody had their own vision of the game. Mm, the programmer wanted it to be a short and simple action title whereas me and the art team and the writers yearned for a full-fledged RPG to give justice to the novels we all loved. Even though the art team was extremely talented, we realized that the engine shortcomings and the lack of direction and supervision was really holding the project back. So in May 2003, uh, the board of directors made the decision to abandon the project as it was. The team, which at the time were the three graphic artists, uh, Adam Badowski, now the head of CD Projekt Red, Michał Buczkowski, Adam Kozłowski and me moved to Warsaw, starting the project from scratch. 
But I will tell you more about it in the next video, which will cover our quest for engine, Aurora modifications, and the first Witcher build shown at E3 2004. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. If so, please like the video on YouTube. And there will be more Witcher videos coming. First, uh, there will be unpacking of the collector's edition of The Witcher 3. I'm expecting my boxes to arrive either today or tomorrow. And I will be comparing its content with the collector's editions of Witcher 1 and 2. And you can see them just over here. Uh, um, that would be all. I Again, I hope you enjoyed it and take care and see you soon.